strange old place demo. It is. It is, in my opinion. You see set up inside the security. If it's the basement. Dan potentially going to be Ooh, getting himself knife. taken out there. But Teb does put a couple of points of damage in. The first kill, however, goes in favor of outsiders. Pasha is able to take down Nath. But just look at how many pockets of safety Navi have still got to work around here. Sure, we've got Kayak in on the side, but Teb is very unknown right now. He's actually made a full rotation and got himself into the small break room. Now he's got a chance to try and peek out. Going to get caught there in the lion Great. scan. Eventually swung, but a direct trade. Oh, Skiddy looking for the refrag, but Pasha's done so well to get that second kill for himself. That's a massive one, Ollie. That's really shifted the tide in favor of outsiders. They have 45 seconds to go. They have security. They know one is at least on site. They don't know where the other player is. They don't know where leader is. This should just be nice and slow, nice and steady. Establish some good crossfires, which I see a really good rotate from always over on that uh, ventilation window. That's just going to cut off the site. It's going to mean that leader can no longer help Kayak, but maybe he doesn't need to help always. He's found a kill in sight. Certainly not the way you want to start trying to trade out a man advantage just by losing someone for nothing. Don't forget, leader still got a C4 in pocket, but it's not going to matter. Always, he picks himself up one and pre fires for the second. Can you make the play? <laughs> don't do it. Normally, if you know you're up against mirror windows, armory still probably the better option for yourself, but I don't know. This is, what, this is what I mean about outsiders. It just seems very slow, very mundane. They're waiting for Navi to, to move, but Skiddy, for example, what does he need to do? Giveable stuff. Skiddy is going to be very safe behind this mirror window. Sure, he can get full whited, but cover. the cover is there. Leader picks up his second on the round, just providing that needed support here for Skiddy as people do tend to hop in through that single. Will be there with a trade. Leader eventually falls, but Skiddy isn't finished there. Milon takes him down, but is left in the clutches. Milon is here. He's literally got no option and now we know it now we know it was the whole round resting and hinge when it's getting caught kayak will find himself down teb dodges his way out of the grenade and he will be swung as well so for outsiders the utility game might not be on point but the gun skill certainly is they managed to net themselves a kill and a down on another kayak eventually will be revived not quite sure how he's managed to get away with that but he has since dropped down this top floor control is fast disappearing from Navi's hands. I think Skiddy's going to be caught in a landslide here in a minute. All he's getting pressured from both angles. He just has to play for the kills, but no, gets nothing at all. Navi down two players. Uh, Dan did a great job there. All it just saying, what are we doing? We need to get an armory here. And then he just pushed in, takes a swing against Teb, has done really well to establish control for outsiders. Naif does get one kill back. Kayax actually went for the flank up east there. Remember, he was downed in sight yeah. for a period there, Ollie. So you can see the game plan from Navi is, we need to go for the retake. We need to get these kills back we cannot allow outsiders to set up but outsiders they have them beat ollie great read there from elon ras straight in getting the plant down cover from above and they can he do anything he gets a down there's one kill but three more to find along with a defuse a lot of work for Nate to do here. He's going to shotgun open the wall and... Not one, but keep in mind, Dan's by himself. A good time swing here from Navi could eliminate him, and it will do that, Teb, with a great shot. And there's that initiative from Outsiders. It's gone. Who else is going to step up to the plate now? Oh, great little run out there from Nate. He's going to find himself one, hop himself down, and jump back into sight. Just misses the one punch there on the barricade, but he's still going to be in in a speedy manner. Always the next person into the workshop, and this is one by one. Oh dear, oh dear, outsiders. Where is the prowess? Gone, where is that little bite that you had on those attacks? Milam, in the clutches, one versus five, 20 seconds left to go. Don't forget, there's still a Pulse Alive demo feeding all of that information. I think something that we often forget is that Pulse works equally well on the same level. Why is Dan pushing in Workshop? Where the dried? But it does come at a cost of time and utility. Nath, still in a good position here inside of Breaks. Oh. Going to find himself a great shot onto Milan and look to retreat back to the site. He feels like he's done his job there, then more Otero drones. We've got a couple of drones knocking around between us, but who's going to be in position to get one of those down? Rask finds himself a freebie onto oh, Tep and a second onto Nath. Navi giving themselves up here. Kayak steadies the ship and drags one back, maintaining that man count advantage. But Pasha potentially on the backstab. The beepers are going to give him away here if he pushes through any further. But if he can time this well with Rask, it might work out. Pasha, he's going to find one onto Kayak and that allows him to hop in. And now Skiddy left in the clutches when realistically Where's he shouldn't. C4 from below. Going to be getting now flashed out. We do have the C4 from below. The info, is it going to be there? And is it going to be sufficient? It will, but it's not in time. The plant is allowed to go down. Now we have to compose themselves here. They have to regroup and try and close this out. Skiddy does just exactly that. Quick peek there on to Pasha. It's again, it's just a showcase that, hasn't it? 
this one operator that hasn't made the cut is going to be the mute, which is a bit of a surprise. You see the mirror windows, you would expect to see that mute combination to go with it. So then you can uh, keep those mirror windows up and stay away from the hard breachers. What is happening here right now for outsiders? They've lost two players of inside the first. same story as what we've seen in the last round. They've just got no gas to get them into that second oh, gear. Oh, fade away. Drops the hatch and gets the kill on the way down. A 2v4, Rask and Pasha. What can they a lot of the work for them here. Milon hanging around at the top of Metal Stairs. He's going to drop down and pick himself one before right. Beads yeah. immediately traded. Rask pushes himself in, takes down Teb, both sides. Rask immediately downed by a leader. And again, plenty of time to disable that diffuser. Two plants yep. there for outsiders and two failed attacking rounds off the back of them. Exactly. Clear. We've seen plenty of times in Siege, one team can... Plenty of info there. Milon takes the engagement. Naif was trying to jump in off the back of that intel. It's going to lose a part of the hard breach that Navi would bring in here. They do also have the Hibana as backup, and we've already seen a couple of those pellets deployed out there. There's a likelihood that one of them falls victim oh. to that, but that's a great pick there from Kayak. He's going to push himself through, oh. but the Frost Knight comes through them. I thought he might have seen you that one. It. It, it was horrible, just placed by the doorway. A real, real kick there for Kayak. Should be getting picked up here. Pasha will have the audio cue, no. though. We're going to see a peek off the back of it. Skiddy trying to be that force, trying to brute his way in through sight. The Bulletproof will call him out. Doesn't find the first. Six seconds left. Teb, what can you do as the book? And I didn't see where he got in from. I'm not sure if he came in for those occasions where you just bidding them to pull the trigger. But he can start ripping open that floor at a moment's notice. Leader, this time he's going to be the first to fall. It seems like there's a bit of a curse on Ace demo. Mm -hmm. It was Nathan in the previous round, and it's leader inside of this one. Yep. And this time, that's the only hard breach that Navi... Pings, so he does know someone's on the other side of the wall, but it's just, it's very tense at the moment. As long as Dan's alive, Navi can't really get anything going, and then Dan goes for a swing and gives it all up. This hatch to get themselves back down to that ground floor and look to work a little bit further. Skinny, Skinny however, will pick up that kill. Milan is able to trade as Kayak actually gets caught out quite deep inside of the site. Milan, at the bottom of these east stairs now, looks to try and pivot his way through. Quaith, under the cover here, Skitty. is going to be able to get it down. Skitty picks up his second, keeping this plant secure. Now you've got to fight your oh, way Skitty. through this room. Skitty is having the round of his life here, picks himself up three. Can he find the fourth and final kill onto Rask? Rask, looking now to peek on through, is going to peek up the downed player in Nath. Three Nath just points. laying prone there, trying to keep himself alive and give a little bit of information. It's made Skitty's job a little bit harder here. Thinks about the Rask. skeleton key, but double doubts him. Really in the hot seat that you can say can deny that. Dan has to swing, doesn't have, you know, yep. it's not as if it's a smoke or has a C4. This is tricky, oh. but oh, nailed with that nade. Teb sees somebody skirt across that. Claymore should be able to get the kill. And yes, it will from Nate. We've seen him put down there earlier. Great pick on the echo cam. Outsiders not ready for a default plant. Criminal, Pasha, maybe thinking about a double dip. Maybe he's going to throw himself out of the window as well. He knows there's no Claymore now, at least. Isn't oh. going to be able to catch Nath as he just makes his way onto the roof at the right time. Kayak, he picks up his second on the round. Rask, he's a very, very fun. Speaking of an MP5, Melissa has her own. And oh, Skitty immediately shuts down Rask. An opening pick for Navi. That's a great way to open things up. Not all the time that we see Navi on that opening pick. It's a swift attack from Navi, isn't it? Look how quick they're in. I think the confidence from the previous round is just, you know, really propelling them forward. Oh. That timeout has obviously worked quite well for them. Oh, Nathan again! Gets himself a nice little freebie onto Nathan. Nathan getting really unfortunate on the timing there, realistically. I don't know. Where's it's the, the ace curse coming in? Eventually, we see the player picked off as Skiddy will refrag. Be downed. That's the thing. Whenever you're in that deficit, things can go you know, from bad to okay, or they can go from bad to worse. Skitty, keen to confirm that shot from the double doors. You can't stand there, my friend. There might be people above, but there are also people still outside. Dan, oh, it's like whack-a-mole. Which line of sight do you look through? He's currently opting for the hatch. He gets drone, then makes his way out. Point to keep them in the running to get that. Yes, Teb's going to get caught in Here Frostmite we go. instantly. No C4 from below. What's he? Frostmite, there we see go, you always. We are going to see the plant go down. Kayak picks some kill on to Always. Dan. The plant is going to be it's successful been, there. Always it's been denied. directly below. No, it's not. It's gone. The it's hold of this. Oh, Leader still. laid down outside. Quick little run out there from Rask. is going to see Skitty gifted a kill as he barrel stuffs him. The Monty can provide all the information he needs to Skitty. Nath 
All he's got to do is keep himself alive and keep those pings and those comms coming. Nath will take a little bit of damage here. He's not in an impenetrable position. Leader grabs a kill over onto Pasha and Skitty Pop.